Uh, humans are multicellular organisms, and we develop from a single cell, a uh, single zygote. And as such, every cell in our body has the same DNA. Uh, DNA is duplicated and um, not altered when cells divide. Um, so <clears throat> with the same information in every cell, there's a question of why are cells different from each other. Um, and that's what this video is about. Um, so <clears throat> since we're talking about humans and eukaryotes and specifically multicellular eukaryotes, um, we're talking about the development process going from single eggs to full multicellular organisms. Um, I'm just kind of going to flip through some pages here. Uh, the cell actually starts out um, expressing, uh, not expressing genes, but, um, you know, um, translating messenger RNA in the cell that's from the mother and before the nuclear genes are starting to be expressed. Um, so as a zygote, there's a certain amount of time where it's just messenger RNA being uh, used, uh, <laughs> to, uh, trans, translated into proteins and various other uh, RNA acting as um, uh, transfer, <laughs> transfer RNA, ribosomal RNA, and that kind of stuff that's already existing in the zygote before the nu nuclear genes uh, are kind of activated. Um, <clears throat> so once um, the cell starts dividing, I'm kind of skipping over that maybe, but um, there's a whole process of development going from that single cell to more complex structures ending up with the embryo. Um, um, <clears throat> and during that process, you have a variety of uh, cellular differentiation. Um, so the very first zygote um, is a stem cell that can turn into any kind of cell, which is pretty obvious of a statement. Um, as it kind of goes along, um, you end up in this stage of uh, gastrulation where you go from a blastula to a gastrula. And you can see here that there's um, three layers of cells, uh, the endoderm in the middle <laughs> and the anterior um, ectoderm on the outside and there should be like a mesoderm in the middle. Um, and those th three layers are kind of like the first differentiation, and each layer can only turn into certain uh, other cells in the future. Um, so, for instance, the mesoderm uh, gives rise to muscle, bone, and connective tissue, um, and a few other things, notochord and heart, um, uh, other things specific to vertebrates. Um, <clears throat> So the process of cellular differentiation is really a matter of uh, epigenetics, I think. Uh, <laughs> um, depending on how you define epigenetics, but in each cell, <clears throat> there's going to be a modification of which genes are expressed based on signals from outside the cell, uh, position and uh, chemical gradients, and uh, just you know the cell knows what's around it. And that information is enough to tell it how to alter um, its um, uh, gene expression. And <clears throat> kind of, uh, I'm jumping around a little bit, but at some point there was symmetry, symmetry breaking. Uh, you know, the in, in theory, uh, the zygote is a symmetric circular spherical cell. Um, I guess in reality there's already some gradients going on there and 
uh, whatnot, but the cells start to divide and it still looks spherical. And at some point, the that symmetry has to be broken, um, specifically like to get this uh, dorsal ventral axis um, kind of going. Um, so I guess that's pretty much all I'll say about that. Um, and then uh, just to mention again that the germline, you know, the cells, uh, the gametes that are used to produce the next generation are kind of independent of the rest of the body. Um, so there's um, a little bit of um, Um, I'm not sure how to exactly phrase it, but um, you know, there's only a certain number of cellular cell divisions that end up going from the original zygote to the gametes of the adult, and that kind of uh, line of cell division is somewhat separate from the entire organism uh, as far as mutations and that kind of thing. Um, and there's a nice quote from uh, Richard Dawkins about. Uh, chicken is only an egg's way of making another egg. Um, so you can kind of think of like, uh, it's more of a, a selfish gene kind of point of view, but in some ways the organism is uh, superfluous to the uh, <laughs> DNA and information kind of getting passed to the next generation.